you know, even though this book was written in 1969, I think it certainly aged very well, in my opinion. What's up guys, welcome back to Unlimited Reads. My name is Chris and today I'll be doing my week two review as part of the new project created by the bookish Bryants called New Worlds November. This week's theme was extraterrestrial, which is any work of science fiction to be read, uh, 250 pages or less set on an alien world or alien worlds in my case with what I picked. I chose Across a Billion Stars by Robert Silverberg. It was published in 1969, and this one has a very clear sub-theme, which is also applicable to the criteria, uh, which is alien archaeology. There's a whole list that uh, people can um, read different subgenres as part of the project, so I'll be sure to tick this one off my list. Let's start with what the uh, story is about. So Tim Price is an archaeologist. It's the year 2375. The human race has evolved to such a point that hyperspace is now possible. There have been alien races that have been discovered and have integrated with humanity. There are remote outposts where the human race has settled many different worlds and uh, there, most of the galaxy has actually been mapped as well. There's also uh, a technology, not so much a technology, but a form of communication between people across solar systems and uh, neighboring galaxies um, used by individuals who have T uh, called TPs. They use telepathic uh, skills to communicate across the universe, which is a pretty cool uh, uh, way of communicating instead of Silverberg having to invent some sort of complex communication devices and things like that. So it's a, a really original idea, which uh, I found fantastic. So the story's told in two different points of view. We have the point of view of Price, who we're experiencing the whole story through his eyes, so it's from his viewpoint. But there's also a second person as well that Silverberg uses because Price is chronicling all the events that happen into a message cube that gets sent to his sister, who is a TP, back on Earth so many light years away. So that's pretty cool. So it opens when Tim's uh, on a space cruiser in the middle of hyperspace on the way to a planet called Higby 5, where it's an archaeological hotspot for uh, evidence of a super immortal alien race, which is uh, billions of years old. So uh, it's his mission, along with um, other individuals that have joined the expedition, made up of several humans and various alien species, which have different skills uh, for the project, uh, which uh, its goal is to reveal all the evidence of this uh, alien race that has existed for so long. So once they arrive on the planet, they begin excavating a site which is meant to hold evidence of this alien race who they dub the Old Ones. Eventually, a strange globe is recovered and this globe tends to have a specific function. And once that function is activated, it's a real revelation of knowledge that uh, the expedition gains. And it provides a clue to a strange robot that was built by the Old Ones uh, billions of years ago and was hidden on an asteroid amidst a big asteroid field in remote space. So this leads them to the asteroid field where they explore and uh, the discoveries they make there is profound and it's a massive, massive thing uh, in terms of knowledge of this alien race that uh, the humans have been hunting for all this time. So it's a really, really big deal for the archeologists and I won't reveal too much there. I'm not gonna spoil anything here, but uh, this then leads them to another world and another world where eventually all the answers are given. Now, I really like this. It was very, very light. There were no very, no big info dumps or anything like that. The technology that uh, Silverberg describes in the book isn't very heavy. It's easy to understand. It's very accessible. I found the plot moved along pretty uh, quickly. Uh, the first third of the book I found it dragged a little bit, but then things really, really quickened up. I really enjoyed the relationships and the integration between the humans and the aliens as part of the archeological team. I found a couple of the relationships were very, very complex, but at times I found it very funny as well. I did laugh out loud in some parts, but um, you know, even though this book was fairly short, I found it very, very epic in scope. And I enjoyed reading about uh, how the human race has evolved, how 
the galaxies have been mapped and I was particularly intrigued as I mentioned by the um, earlier on about the uh, telepathy uses communication uh, uh, method uh, across galaxies which uh, it, it excuses Silverberg from having to create complex technology to involve communications where you can use the human consciousness to do that and uh, I found Tim Price's character quite witty and sarcastic and uh, enjoyable to read he was quite uh, funny at times and told from the first person I thought that was the correct viewpoint for this story and it was just really well done I haven't read anything of Silverberg's before. I was really pleased with this one, and I'm certainly going to uh, seek out some of his work in the future. And it turns out he has written quite a lot of uh, stuff uh, in his bibliography, so I'll uh, probably check out one or two titles in the near future. Uh, on Wikipedia, not much is known about him. Uh, I think he was married to another uh, author, but uh, there's not too much that I could dig up about him but uh, certainly I would highly recommend this one if you haven't read Robert Silverberg before it is a really good ride and uh, a really simple read really uh, for a sci-fi novel so there you go guys that is my week two review for New Worlds November hope you liked it as always please offer up any comments below and I'll always respond to those if you've read the book before tell me what you think I'm always up for a chat Please don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time guys, see you later.